Hello once again, all my satisfactory fans out there. Thank you for joining me for another episode of my mega project build here in the Dune Desert. And we are out here right now by the Devil's Pit. What we're going to be doing is we are continuing work when we rebuilt the truck station in the last episode over in that direction. And we're going to be bringing in the sulfur and the copper this way by truckloads. Bringing it all the way down here and we're going to unload it in the back section back here of our train station that we built a few episodes back. So if you guys remember, I did say that I wanted to do something kind of interesting on the back back here. I wanted to build a little more onto it, some sort of add-on, uh, just to kind of expand up on the back back here. And I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. Well, as time went by, we kind of figured it out. And uh, I want to bring the trucks over here. I want to have them go up into like an unloading station here that's attached to our train station where we're going to then turn our sulfur into compacted coal so they can then send the compacted coal over to our main base over there our main factory and from there it is going to become some steel and I figured that I can actually make more steel with the compacted coal than I can just the regular coal so that's what the plan is and we kind of got started with that, so today is just going to be the continuation of that and finishing it up. So, if we head over here to the back, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. So what we're going to do is take this foundation right here. We're just going to kind of bring this back a little bit here. Just kind of expand this out to, oh, maybe around about there. And then I'm just going to go over here to the other side. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to bring this out this way, like that. That should work just fine. Uh, I may have went a little too far with it, but... And then we're going to take this foundation, and we'll put that right through there. And then we're just going to fill in the gaps. Like that. And... Come over here to this side, and then fill in the gaps over here. And that is going to be the base. Alright, so we have this coal that's coming up through here. I'm not going to bother with the coal right now at the moment. We will do something different with it later, but for now... I think I'm going to just have it come down here, and then we have some space down here on this side. So I'll probably have it come down a little further. Instead of going up where it makes the turn here, we'll make it turn over here on this side. And then come up where we can then turn that into the compacted coal when we add the silver in. But let me kind of go back here a little bit and make sure I've made this just long enough. Because uh, we do have to get a truck up in there. So let's see. Um, something we could probably use right now is maybe some ramps. Uh, and I think maybe a two meter ramp yeah let's bring that down and then we'll bring that one down let me see if that's gonna be enough uh, yeah I, I think so um, and then if we bring this out here like so I don't want to turn zoop off there and then another one and then we bring this down over here come here to the top. There we go. Alright. And then one more. Okay. Looks like one more. Maybe one more. <laughs> uh, more. Okay. Alright. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking might need to go a little bit more over this way because that's probably not going to... I need to turn the suit back on. So we'll just bring this down to here. And then we'll take this part out right here. And then we'll bring this over here and then bring it down. Uh, probably need to come down one more on this side. So we have an on-ramp and an off-ramp here that is going into the station. So let me grab this over here and we'll just take that, put that there and then build it up. Like so. Okay. Alright. This, this might be alright. And uh, then let me take a look here under our walls. Or maybe it's our foundations actually. Yeah. Foundations is what we want. So if I bring this in, like here, right? And then another one over here on this side. Uh oh, I may have to bring this a little further over. Uh, unless, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can a truck fit through here? That's an excellent question. If the truck will fit through this right here, then I only need one ramp going up and one ramp coming down that will actually probably work just fine uh, we need to test that let me go grab a truck 
All right, so now I've got a truck over here. Let's take a look here. And it looks as though, as long as it's careful, it will fit on one square space here. So I think this could possibly work. All right. So knowing that now, what I can do is let's see. Um, I don't think I want to bring this any further over this way. But you know what? I could maybe. Uh, hmm. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's take this out and this out. And I'm going to have to delete that truck. All right, so that's fine. Um, all right, so I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put this one here, like so. Get in there, okay? All right, and then we take these out. All right, and that is going to leave, since I'm going to have to have two of these here. All right, then we'll put that there. And then extend this out one and then put this over here like so okay all right is that gonna be enough space now let's see let's find out uh, if we take these out which I wasn't a big fan of that being there anyway and then that should this this could possibly work all right but uh, you know what I am gonna go ahead and just kind of put that right, right down in here let me go ahead and just move these down here like that and I'll just put them all in between them all, actually, just down. And then we'll do the same thing down here, like so. All right, and that will leave me a decent amount of space. Now the question is, is uh, can I get a roof on this and then get that in there? So let's find out about that. So if we do this, I should have put this on first, to be honest. Like so, and then that one on top of that like that and then like that okay and then I don't need that and then let's rebuild our truck so transportation uh, truck all right and we'll put that out there all right and to get to the workbench on the truck you have to go underneath of it down here but that should let us put some fuel in here so coal yeah coal for fuel okay Drive truck. Will this be big enough? You know what? I honestly, I think we're good. I do. I think that'd be just fine right there. All right. So now that we know that we can have the dimensions here and that will work, it looks like I need to bring this out a little bit more though, because I think that's going to be maybe a little too large. Uh, yeah. In fact, Yes, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this out by another layer here. So, well, there is another option. Eh, you know, actually, no. I think I'm just going to do that. I think I'm just going to just zoop these down through here like this. And bring that down. All right. So, yeah, since I'm just going to move this outward just a little bit here. So I'm going to take care of that real quick. All right, so I have now rebuilt the foundation here, and I think this is looking pretty good. I had to redo some of this here to kind of make things match up a little better, uh, but I don't mind it. This is probably going to get reworked a little bit more anyway, but uh, just a basic foundation of a build is good to have. That way you kind of can go from there and decide on how it's going to look and, and more detail and stuff later on. If we head inside, the next thing we're going to have to deal with right here is this right here, the coal. So the coal is going to be coming in from down at the bottom and moving over into some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out all of this line right here. Just all of this because we are going to be doing something completely different with this. All right, and with the coal line out of the way, we will now need a truck station in here to unload everything off of it. So let's go ahead and do truck station right here. Okay. And then let's see, I want to get it kind of in the middle here. So, okay, if I move it over, it says no, I can't do it because it's overlapping with something. All right, that's fine. I can put it like right here. You know, actually, I'm a little curious. If I move this back one, if I put that there, will it still unload? You know, I bet it will. I bet it totally will. In fact, here, I'm going to delete that again. Let's try putting it a little even further back. So what if I wanted to put it like, say, oh, I don't know, say here. I bet it would unload there. 
All right, so we've got our truck station in here, and I've sort of repositioned it so it's right down the center of the platform. Um, actually, I've kind of repositioned the entire platform and redone every single bit of this because I noticed that it was not centered with this top platform. So this bottom one, somehow or another, during my construction, uh, was done differently than what this top platform was. So um, what I ended up doing, since I noticed that, I just kind of dropped this down, redid the entire floor, and then just pretty much did the walls and everything too and I had to redo all that but anyway it's all good now uh, so now we have this kind of centered so we're gonna have an output coming down through here the next thing is we're gonna need some assemblers that way we can turn our coal and our sulfur into the compacted coal that we're gonna need so I imagine we're gonna need about oh 300 or so of those or something like that so let's see, I think I'm going to put my assemblers down this way, right along this wall here. So I'll just put this kind of right here in the middle, right there. That kind of works. And let me see how many we're going to need here. So, uh, there it is, alternate compacted co. And if I plop down all of these and turn this up, looks like I can make about 62.5 per minute. Uh, so an average of 60 per minute, it uh, should may use the same amount of coal and the same amount of sulfur. Alright, so as long as we're bringing in that much, we can, we can make that much. Alright, um, all right, so let's take these and we'll pop these down through here, all the way down through here. Actually, you know what, let's move these up a little bit. Let's center these kind of square like that. So let me get rid of this one here. If I put this one in here, yeah, okay. And I put this one over here, right here in this center. Uh, is that going to work? Uh, do you not like me? Okay, it doesn't like if I do that. Okay, so let's put this one back then. And then we'll put that one centered. And then we'll take this one. And can we move it right here in the middle? Will we have enough space? I think we will. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's enough space. Alright, so we can get three down each side. And let's see. If each of them can make 60 a minute... Bring up my math tool here uh 300 or so uh divided by 60 per minute we're gonna need five if i do three per side that's about 360 per side okay all right that's not terrible so let's go ahead and do that then uh, let me turn this around and we'll put some down this side too like so there we go. And one more down here, kind of right in the middle of that one. Not bad at all. All right, so our next thing is going to be bringing everything out of here. You know, if I wanted to, I could probably do an entire another layer. We could do like 12 of these things if I needed to. So that that is an option. I might have to raise the roof a little bit, but that that could definitely be an option. All right, so I had to pull these out from the wall a little bit because I got to look at and I didn't have any space back here to do the outputs when, the way I had them before. So we pulled them outwards towards the center a little bit more and it left less space down in here. But you know what? That's fine because I'm thinking I'm just going to, instead of putting more up here, I mean, we could if we need to, but I really don't think we're going to need that. What we could do is just run the catwalks from the train station right there. Just keep kind of running those across the top and that way we could have a walk space over top of this and now when it comes to running the conveyor belts and stuff um i what i'd like to do is use both of these outputs instead of just one so i was kind of just kind of thinking here about how i could do that maybe bring these out and split them and you know have it that way but since there's not enough space down the middle to split these uh I'm going to go back to something somebody had mentioned in uh, a comment on one of my earlier videos where I made the original train station and they said uh, I should take advantage of using both of the outputs in order to get more of these out faster uh, by using a buffer. I could put like an, uh, an industrial storage unit in here somewhere. So uh, there it is. Organization. Yeah. Uh, industrial storage. Okay. So I could use these. And then basically just output both of these into our storage containers. The question is, how would we go about doing that? What I'm kind of thinking is about using this upper level here above where our tra or our trains, <laughs> our trucks come in. Uh, since there does seem to be a little bit of space up here, I could maybe probably do that. Uh, so I'm going to kind of mess with this a little bit and see if it's possible. 
All right, so with some adjustments for height to make sure that everything is going to go over top of what we need here, I think I figured this out. So I ended up putting a four meter tall uh, foundation here on top of our circular things, and then I put a one meter on top of that. So a total of five meters upwards should clear the truck station platform here easily. And it also almost is the exact same height as what the train station is over here it's like really close so close enough that i i will say that will work and if we come up here on top of this little platform here then i was making sure that i would have enough space in order to put our storage areas up here and it does look like that is going to work so what i'm thinking is i'm probably going to put like maybe uh, right in the middle if I can that looks close. So yeah, let me make sure that that's Perfectly centered it is fantastic And then I can take another one of these and put it right next to it like so All right And then we have two That will work perfectly for that and I could have maybe centered these a little better, but I think this is fine all right, and then I'm gonna come over here to this side and I'm going to go ahead and put like maybe one kind of centered here, like so. And another one next to that one. And I think that will work just fine, actually. Let's see, uh, get that in there. Yeah, all right. So this leaves me basically, we now have two for the, for the sofa that's coming in. And then we have two for our um, copper that's coming in. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to use these four storage containers for is we're going to have two for the sofa that's coming in from the truck station. We're going to run this up back here. And then we're going to put uh, both container units. We'll go in through here. And then we're going to run it into some smart splitters, which will then split the sofa off into the first two here. And then the copper will come down here to these two machine or storage units and then output that down through here into our storage containers. So I'll just run like a couple things down this way. Now this one, what I probably might do is we'll run this one down the center because we have to get this down here to these machines. And then I'm thinking probably two layers. Yeah, we can... Ooh, ooh. I just not thought of that. Is that going to work? Uh, am I going to have enough space for this? Let me check that real quick. Uh-oh. Didn't think of that. Uh, no. Okay, so I do not have enough space to make this work the way I want to down here. Well, that's going to be a pain. I've got to figure out how that's going to work exactly. All right, so I went back to the drawing board, and with a little bit of creativity, I figured it out. So I'm going to use two sides here. Each of them with four storage containers, uh, two on each side for the copper, two on each side for the sofa coming in. We're going to bring it out of both sides here of our truck station, like so. Uh, that's going to come down through here, and then it will split onto each side, and then run down each side, and the smart splitters will take care of sorting everything out down this way. We're then going to... Uh, bring out the first two here the which are going to have the sofa those are going to come down on each side and they're going to do something like this so if i do this and have them facing inwards like towards the machine i can then run a conveyor belt that goes down the middle right down through there and then just sort off of the sofa and then for the coal that I'm going to need in order to make the compact to coal, that I'm going to bring up from the bottom since that's where it's actually coming in at anyway. So that will work just fine that way, I think. Now, in order to split these out, coming this way and going up behind here, I am going to have to move these assemblers a little closer to each other. So I'm thinking I'll probably just like put them right next to each other like that which will compact these down quite a bit more. I'll probably do the exact same thing with this one down here. Since it is a little close to the train station anyway, I'll just move that closer. All right, so next let's go ahead and split the two outputs coming out this way. So let's see here. If I do like this one right about mm, there's probably good. And then I'll put another one on top of that one, making sure that that is going the right direction. Okay, and then we'll have two going, uh-oh. Uh, okay, I didn't think about this. Let's see. 
Maybe I should just have one going that way and this and this one going that way. That, hmm. Okay, yeah. I could totally do that. That is definitely an option. Uh, though I'd much rather have them both going the same direction and then kind of combining them. But I guess that would defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? So, ugh. Okay, fine. Alright, so I went ahead and stuck a conveyor pole right there on the very edge of that ledge right there. The edge of the ledge. And then I'm going to grab a conveyor lift. I'm going to put that down through here and I'm going to put it right about where I want it. And then we're going to switch directions so that it is going inwards. And then if I take a conveyor belt, put that into that, that should be straight. Yeah, okay. So I've decided that this top one here is going to run to the right, and this bottom one is going to run over here to the left. I think that is going to be the best option here, and it splits everything up evenly, and this way I don't have to have it come out, uh, and both of them, uh, both sides, and then try to figure out how to combine these up and, and go up there. That, I think that would just end up being a mess, to be honest. But you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I actually may have figured out a different option here for this. Alright, so I've refigured this, I think. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to keep what we just did, right? But we're going to take, we're going to put one of these right next to each, uh, to the other one right here. Right there, I think. Uh, yes. And then we're going to bring this up like so. And again, we're going to reverse direction, so that's going the output way. I think that's the right height. If it's not, we can re reconfigure that. And then over here, instead of having these stacked like that, what I'm thinking is I'm just going to bring this one out just a little bit like that. Uh, you know, actually, no, no, we do need, we do need to split. I was going to say, actually, we don't even need this. We could just run it out. But no, I need to run it both sides. So if we bring it like that... And then I should be able to just connect that like that. Connect that into that. Yes. Yes, I believe that will work. And then that will go up into each one. Because the reason I had to think about this for a second is because I kind of forgot what I was actually doing. Um, these have a top and a bottom receptacle. So I can bring this one up and it will go into the top one and then this one will go down through here and we'll divide them both ways. Yeah, that actually is going to be probably our best option. Now this isn't even aligned right and I'm pretty certain that I didn't get it tall enough either. So I'll just raise that up and refix this here. Mm, there, I think that is the right height. Okay, at least I hope so. I'm just going to get rid of that conveyor pole that I used there and and finish this back over here. Grab that, connect that back into that. And you know what? I think that will work. Now I just gotta do the same thing on the other side over here. All right, next we're just gonna throw some smart splitters in here. So there we go. And make that just right. There we go. And then we'll put one on this one too. And two back here on the back here. All right, and then I'm just going to just pop these up there like that. We'll put a space in between them and then like that. And that should work there. And then same thing. I'll just stack these twice until we get it to the desired level and delete the middle one. All right, and I'm just going to do this on all of these at this point. All right, next we're just going to connect all of the conveyor belts here. All right, and now we have all the finished connections, so yes, that should work just fine. Next, I just got to set up the smart splitters to say, let's see. So the left side here is going to be sofer. So we'll have that going into that. The center one on this one, you know what? I think I want to do uh, any on that one and nothing to the right. And then for this one, I want to have Sofer again over here on this side, but the center one here is only going to be copper. Now, the reason that I'm doing that, copper ore to be exact. All right, so the reason I'm doing that is because this one right here, I want to be able to send both the Sofer and the copper through, so that's why I chose any. So it should take the sofa off here and then split some sofa to go into this one and then I'll have only the sofa so whatever sofa this one doesn't catch this one will and then it will only send the copper into this one and then these two should just both be copper 
copper ore and send copper ore through the center as well like so all right and then here i only want let's see copper going this way and i don't want anything to go in the center or to the right now i need to go back and choose all of these and say no on those as well so none and then over here and none and none now the reason i'm choosing none on those is because i don't want it to get kind of a backlog so when you have one of these spaces and you don't have it set or if it's set to any or something like that what it will do is it will actually take some of the material that's going into the splitter and put it into like a buffer that's going to the right so you'll have it come through here and it won't go this way or this way it'll just be kind of stuck in the machine and or at least that's what i've kind of noticed from just experimentation and stuff through the game um i don't know how true that is i but from my testing that's how it seems anyway so i was also told this on one of my uh one of my streams i did too somebody mentioned that so i want to make sure that that we're not getting any kind of buffer zone in there and everything is going where it needs to be all right so i'm just going to set up the rest of the smart splitters here and then we will do a truckload over here and see how everything works all right so before we go ahead and get our truck running over through here one thing i kind of forgot about is we have to work on our infrastructure including this bridge right here over our troubled waters this is probably one of the most important features that i need to put in so i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and i'm kind of thinking if we put that right there maybe i kind of think maybe right there all right and then we change that over to uh, I don't I don't want two. I just want one. All right, there we go. All right, and then we change that over to a one meter, and we put it right on the edge, and then push this over here like this, and then maybe to there. All right, and then we just need a ramp from there down to here, and I think that might do it. Let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with a one meter ramp. Ugh, that is awful close to that. I don't know. What if we build... What if we make this double wide? That's an option. Alright. So, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and actually make this double wide. Like that. And then take this and then push that across like that. And then... Looks like I may end up having to take out a tree over here. And that's okay by me. Alright, so in order to remove this tree, I kind of don't have my chainsaw on me. But what I do have is explosives so that does the job you know I'm kind of curious will this also get rid of this rock right here <laughs> yes yes it will you know now I'm kind of thinking I just want to get rid of all kinds of rocks all right that's definitely one way to clear a path all right, let's head over to our truck station. All right, so let's go ahead and build us a truck. And I think I want to get it right in the starting area here. So probably right about there seems good. Maybe a little further back. That seems good. All right, I think that will work. All right, and then we're going to hop into said truck. Oh, actually, we're going to need to put some fuel in said truck. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it's already got fuel in it. Fantastic. Okay. All right, let's open our record menu and let's start recording. Now we're gonna come out of the station and then we're gonna cut to the left right here and go across our new bridge. I will most likely end up putting some railings on the side of this. And I think we're gonna cut right down through in here. And I may need to put some ramps up in there. Well, that should do fine. Get out of the way, Bob. And... We are here. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just drive it in there. Uh-oh. That's probably not going to be good. That might end up turning it over. I hope not. Alright, and then we'll drive it slowly up into our loading station. Alright, and then we will unload cargo there. 
And uh, you know what? I'm not sure if I have enough space to turn around here. Let's see. Will we? Oh, we do. Oh, perfect. Okay. Fantastic. And then we're going to come off. And then I think from here we're going to go kind of this way. Around the back. And I may come off of, like, down in here. And then just kind of start heading back the same direction. Definitely going to have to build us a ramp right there, though. And I may end up, like, re-recording this, this path, too, so... Alright, and then we're going to come around, and once I get back into our starting area, that should finish it. There we go. Path recording is done. Alright, and then we will load up our menu. We're going to save that. And then let's enable the autopilot, and hopefully this will work. Okay, so here comes our truck, and... Uh, I don't know why, but it wants to crash into our truck station, and uh, it has done this. I've, I've redone this path like three times, and it just keeps doing it. So, obviously, there's some sort of bug going on here. I literally look it up, and I see other people are having problems with it just tra crashing into the station, too. So, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's, a, it's being a wacky. It's a wacky truck. But, anyway, as you can see here... All of our components are now being split from both outputs going up and then being sorted out into our boxes. So, now the next remaining thing is to move everything from the boxes into the train station and into our assemblers to make the compacted coat. So for that, we're going to do the same trick we did to make our machines here, which I, you know what, I think I just got this entire thing full. Huh. Okay. Well... Not a problem. We better get started on this. Alright, so first things first, we will set up a conveyor pole. And I'm going to put it... You know what? I, I'm i kind of trying to think if I want to put it right here. But I think that's obviously probably the best option. So that we don't have any confusion about these splitters coming out. Actually, they're not even going to be splitters. They're going to be more like uh, mergers. Yeah. Uh, everything is going this direction. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and then we are going to have to run a conveyor lift down. And probably to right about, oh, there. Right? Sure. And then I'll run this here, and that sh should be... Oh, okay, I come too far down with that. Well, that's okay, I could fix this, now we know. Alright, that does look even. It is going the right direction, so I'll just click that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. And then I'll put one more of these into this one. And then we'll fix the last one down here on the end. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, let's see, that should go into this. Uh, ooh, uh oh. Well, that's. That might be a problem. Huh. Okay, that this is fine. I can fix this. Alright, so the easiest fix right here is going to be just putting a conveyor, one of the stackable conveyor poles, right here on top like that. We'll put two of them, and then we'll run that to here. Voila! Okay. Alright, and then from here, all I have to do is just jump up here on top and then we will put in some uh, splitters here um, I'm trying to think if I want splitters or smart splitters you know what? we're just gonna use regular splitters all right I'll hold down control so that they match up there too and then I'll put one there and then one down here on the very end like so all right that should do the job um, although I might want to redo these right here just to make sure that they are going into our our boxes up there all right and now we'll just run the conveyor belt straight into that and then connect up these guys right here there goes the sofa 
All right, now the sofa is running into this side of all of our assemblers here. Okay, um, let's see, I need to tell each of these that I want to make compacted coal. And I think the last piece of the puzzle here is we are just going to connect this to into here and then um, probably go like that, turn that so it's facing down there. And then we need to get underneath of here. Uh, I'll just take out this thing right here. Oh, oh, that's going too far underneath there. So let me uh, put a piece down here. There we go. Piece de la resistance. No, there's actually no resistance here. All right. And then we'll just put that there and then finish up all the flooring down here. All right, so underneath of here, this is going to be a, an example of two of the inputs. So we have the left machine and the right machine here. And I need to get this coal line to go between both of them. Hmm, this should not be an issue. What we will do is just take a splitter like so. And uh, let's see, put, we will put, I, I, th I think we'll put like one here. And then one uh, here. Yeah, all right, and then run a belt between those two. Uh, run this into that. Will, will this be a problem? It, it kind of wants to be a problem. All right, problem no more. Be gone, problem. All right, I'm not really too worried about how this looks down here. This This is fine, so. If I need to, I will just move that over one so that it's coming along this way, and then that will go just straight into there if I really want to be anal about it. All right, so then we'll just plop a conveyor splitter there and a conveyor splitter here. We will then do that and connect these two, connect these two. No, just these two there. And these two all right and there goes our coal up into our machines um oh i haven't gotten power to the machines yet i, sh I should probably fix that mm, yeah all right let me go ahead and fix that all right there we go all of them are powered up all of them are connected we have the conveyor belts running into everything they are now getting everything they need to be able to make the compacted coal now we just have to send the results the actual compacted coal that direction all right, not a problem. What we're gonna end up doing is just putting some, I think mergers. Yeah, probably some mergers on the end of each of these here. And that should do the job. Now, although our mergers are really close to the outputs of the machines here, uh, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get a conveyor belt to stick to that. And sure enough, it actually does. So now all I have to do is just connect these up like so. There we go, and uh, we're gonna come. We're gonna throw that into this direction. Now, I don't know why that this co line here isn't doing anything right now. That is odd. I would have thought that it would be taking any remaining coal that we have. All right, so I solved the problem of why there was coal still on the line. Um, somehow or another, I had taken out the loading of the iron from, up to the train, and I don't know why I did that. So that caused all the coal to get backed up because it wasn't actually producing steel at any point. But anyway, got that taken care of. I'm even going ahead and put our compacted coal line over here so it combines right here in the middle, and then we just have to run a line from here into there. So. That should be easy enough to do. I'll just do this, bring this over to here. I'm thinking to probably to here. And then we'll run this down through here to, um, yeah, probably here. And then we'll just run that to there. And then I'll just go ahead and take this out and then we'll just connect that into that. So shouldn't be a problem at all. And there we go. All right, so that should load the compacted coal into the train loading bay now. All right, so now we're sending the compacted coal up into the train. Now the next, I, I have to get some more copper down through here. All right, so since our sofa is loading that way, I will probably load our copper this way. So I'll do the same thing. I'll just take some of these, but I'll change the direction here so that they are going that direction. 
And I'll put one on this side too. One in front of this one, like so. And one in front of that one. And then uh, connect the conveyor belts up and then I'll run a conveyor lift going down to the edge down here. All right, so I really don't want to extend this building out anymore this way. This is fine right here for the end of the building. Um, I do have this little area here. So what I'm thinking is I will probably, yeah, yeah, most likely I will. I'll take all of this out down through here and we'll redo this in a minute. But uh, and then I'm going to run a conveyor hole right here. And then change the direction of that going in. Yeah, and then I'll just run this down through here like that. All right, and that should load the copper into this, and then I'll have it go down on the side. Same thing for the other side. I'll just put one of these over here. All right, so I've got both of the copper outputs coming down underneath of the main floor here. So I got to figure out how I'm going to get both of these to go up this way and what I'm thinking is I'll probably combine them down this side so I'll just put a foundation in here and then maybe put a merger in here like so yeah that should probably work and then I'll just put this into there run that over to that we'll delete that and then I'll run this up this way all right, so this is where our copper is coming at normally from the one node that we have here at the Devil's Pit. So what I'm going to do is just take this out right here. And then I'm going to put a merger in right here somewhere. Let's see. So it's probably going to be coming down through the line down through here. And I want to kind of combine them probably right about here. So we'll have this going to that. We'll fix this. Like so. Yeah, right about there. Alright, now there goes the copper up that way. Alright, so that should be loading into that. And now we just have to get this thing into this direction. So, if I am correct in how this is coming down, I think I should just be able to do this. And then if we drop down below here. Uh, am I too far over? All right, yeah, it looks like I, I managed to get this just perfect. So I'll just take this, run this up through here, like so, uh, right through there. And then that should connect up to that. And then all the copper should come up here. And that should load our copper up quite a bit more than what we are getting currently. All right, so we've got the copper problem fixed. Uh, this is working, but it's not working at its best. So I'm going to go ahead and go through each and single one of these. We're going to throw three of these guys in here. There we go. And I'll just do the rest of them like that. All right, so now it looks like all of this uh, mess that I have here is actually working pretty good. Uh, it looks like our compacted co is starting to get kind of backed up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Definitely all the sulfur and everything is. And I can't say for sure about our copper. Let's check that out and see how that's working. Oh yeah, the copper is moving along pretty good. That's getting full. Uh, all right, let's uh, check our transfer rates. All right, first up is our compacted coal. Let's see what our transfer rate of that is. Looks like uh, 288 items per minute. Okay, well, it's not quite 300, but uh, let's see. Our concrete's not going very fast. 91 items per minute. All right, that's weird. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, our copper though, 336 items per minute. That's really good. All right, so now all we have to do is head back over to our main base now, the main factory, and then switch over our machines to making compacted steel ingots, and I think that will do it. All right, looks like our steel lines are backed up here pretty good. There's the compacted coal going all the way into that building, which then goes into the train station. So let's go in here. Head over to our machines here, and we're going to switch this off to making compacted steel ingots. And this one, the same thing. Select recipe. All right, and then one more up here. 
to do compacted steel ingots as well. All right, so we are finally done. We've got the compacted coal coming in. We've got the iron ore coming in. We've got all three of our foundries maxed out. It's going in there smoothly. Let's see. Now we were producing uh, just a smidge over 300 total last time. Now we are producing maxed out. Let's see. We're producing 93.75. That seems less than what we were producing. How is that? What? Select recipe. The steel ingots. Wait, three steel ingots from regular that one. And then this one makes ten. What? I should be making a lot more than the... Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. I think I see my mistake here. This one's 16 seconds to make ten. But this one makes three and four seconds, so if, uh, three, uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, so, uh, I just checked the Satisfactory Wiki page, which I should have checked a long time ago before I started this project. Um, I am using, currently, using the Compacted Co., and it turns out that the compacted coal recipe for steel is actually the the worst recipe. I am making less steel than what I was just using the normal default recipe. Um, I, I don't even understand why the compacted coal recipe is even a recipe in the game at all. It's, it's, it's worse than default. So I guess because it uses less iron or something? Uh, I have just wasted two episodes Converting the Devil's Pit factory over there, making truck stations to gather up sulfur and more copper, and uh, doing all the work of converting all this over, making the machines to con to make it the compacted coal, and it turns out that it, it was all a big, huge mistake, and uh, I'm I'm still not going to have enough steel, so. Uh, I I am big sad right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely a sad panda. Oh, so I don't know what to do. Yeah, so at this point, I'm just kind of looking over the recipes to see what options I have at this point to kind of fix our mistake. And uh, I'm not seeing many options other than just going back to the default mode. Um, but yeah, so the best recipe is petroleum coke in or uh, coke steel ingots, which uses petroleum coke. Petroleum coke is made from oil. Actually, it's made from heavy oil residue, uh, and there is no oil in this desert out by the Devil's Pit, so we can't convert that over to doing that. Can't bring it in by truck over there to that and then bring it in. Um, one option would probably be the second best recipe, which would be the solid steel ingots, which actually somebody mentioned in a comment that I should just do that. Um, it uses regular steel or regular uh, iron ingots instead of iron ore, and in regular coal, and it makes 60 per minute. So if I did that, 60 times 2.5, if it was maxed out, would get us 150 per minute, which is, well, let's see, that's, 50, that's, about, a, that's about 150 more than what we're producing now, if not more. Uh, it's definitely, definitely more. So that's an option. I, I could probably do that, but I mean, I feel like Bringing the sofa and stuff over to the Devil's Pit was just kind of a huge waste now. And I made everything look good. So I kind of feel like I just want to go with this and, and maybe maybe keep this recipe. And maybe see if we can just add another, I don't know, add another uh, uh, foundry in here somehow. Maybe, maybe divide these lines right here into two. I don't know how we would do that. Um, I, I literally don't see an option on, on how to do that, but that's something to look into. So <laughs> I've got to try to fix this mess that I have created on my own. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I guess that's going to do it, guys, for this episode. Uh, at least I made it look good. I, I guess there's that. So I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching for those who stuck around to the end. Uh, I will see you everyone in the next video and I want to give a huge shout out to all of my fans all of my subscribers and followers I didn't really want to give a bigger shout out to all the people who are pledging their support via patreon 
that is fantastic and i really appreciate that guys that that's a huge win for me and that it will do it so wherever you are in the world good morning good afternoon good evening and good night and remember always check the satisfactory wiki before you start a huge project i'll see you in the next episode